The survey that's been undertaken this year has found that the Arctic sea ice is thinner than we had thought it was. This is significant because uh, thin ice will melt a lot more quickly and easily than thick ice that's been there for a number of years. And that matters because the Arctic is where we're seeing the effects of climate change at their most acute. And so this is, if you like, a, a warning call, a, a canary in the coal mine, as it were, squawking at us that we need to sit up and take notice and take action and do so now ahead of the Copenhagen negotiations in December. Typically in the Arctic, the ice moves around because it's floating on the sea. And over the years, it builds up uh, one year's ice on top of another. But if it starts to melt, then you get uh, ice that's only one year thick. And that's serious because it could more easily melt in the summer. So it forms ice in the winter period and then could melt entirely in the summer. Now, why is that so serious? Well, if the ice melts, instead of having a white surface that reflects the heat of the sun back into space, the sea, the dark sea, absorbs more heat. So that exacerbates the problem. And this is significant for us because the Arctic is, if you will, the, the thermostat of the Northern Hemisphere. It regulates our climate. And so we're facing the prospect of quite worrying changes in the way the climate system operates that might affect uh, water, uh, rainfall, uh, and sea levels. Uh, and that in turn will have impacts on fishing uh, and, and other uh, industries. So this, this is a really serious matter for us. Sometimes we think the Arctic is a long way away, but actually it affects us very close to home. Uh, and that's why we're so concerned that the climate negotiations uh, in December this year really need to uh, address the scientific facts that this survey has revealed.